Google Classroom is like a mini learning management system. And while it has a lot of cool tools, my absolute favorite is the assignment tool. The assignment tool allows you to post an assignment, the students to create, do, and submit the assignment, you to collect and grade the assignment, and give feedback all online, all using Google Drive. So let's take a look at how this works. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create an assignment in Google Classroom. And I'm assuming that you already know what Google Classroom is and have at least logged on. So once you're in Google Classroom, make sure that you're in the stream area. And down in the lower right hand corner, we're just going to click Create Assignment. Now that we're in, we'll give the assignment a title. And you can type your instructions here if you want. After I've typed in my instructions, I've written here to please respond to the attached prompt. So now I need to attach a prompt. I can do that using these tools here at the bottom. Now this first one, the paperclip allows me to attach any file from my computer. That doesn't just mean a document, it can be any file type that you want. The next is to attach anything from my Google Drive. Next is to add a YouTube video. And last is to attach a web link, and this can be a link to anything on the web. I'm going to recommend that you choose the Google Drive item and create all of your items in Google Drive. The reason being it just gives you a lot more flexibility when creating these assignments and it allows you to then go in and give real feedback inside the assignment itself. So I'm going to choose Google Drive and let's drop here and I'm going to take Reflection Prompt 1 and click Add and now this is listed in here. So there's one other step that I can do here and this is what I think makes this tool really powerful. So the first one is that I can just allow my students to view this, meaning that if these were instructions, I could just attach them in there and the students could go in and read them. They can't make any changes. The next one, students can edit the file, means that my entire class will be editing one document. This is great for brainstorming type assignments or group work assignments. This is where everyone is going to be editing just this one document. Then the last one, which is my favorite, is make a copy for each student. And that's what I'm going to use today because these are personal reflection prompts. So when the student clicks on it, I want them to be able to type directly into that document and then submit that. And the great thing about that is, if I make a copy for each student, then it automatically makes a copy into that student's Google Drive and attaches their name to it. So gone are the days where I have no idea whose document this is when it's submitted online. So I'm going to choose that right there. If I'm doing this assignment for multiple Google Classrooms, I can select multiple classrooms to post it in. But for this purpose, I'm just going to choose this first one. And then my last option is, by clicking Assign, it's going to go ahead and post that immediately onto my classroom stream, but I can also save it as a draft, or I can schedule it. And scheduling it then allows me to say, don't post it until this date and this time. And then click Schedule, and on that date and time, it will automatically post to your stream. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to post it now and click Assign. And now you can see it comes to the very top of my stream. Now I have noticed that there's one thing I forgot to do. So I have this due tomorrow. It's not due tomorrow. I want it due next week. So what I'm going to do is under these three dots right here, let's click on that and I'm going to choose edit. And right here where it says due, I'll click on that and I'll make it due on the 26th at 11.59 p.m. All right, so now that I've got my due date, I'll just save it again. And here you can see that it is now due on July 26th at 11.59 p.m. Over here, it's also going to show for the students that this reflection prompt is due next Tuesday. So that's how you can create an assignment in Google Classroom.